Right. Time for a Silas game. Uh, Silas got some buffs dispatched towards the jungle, basically. Um, more damage to his camps off the Q explosion. Which, you know, is nice. I've played some games of Silas, uh, trying to see what I like, figure out what the build to go for, etc. Which I have, which I'll be showing you in this video, of course. But I will say his clear speed is better. It's like manageable. But there's, it's not like a meta pick. Like, I wouldn't say, oh, um, if you want to climb in solo queue so badly, absolutely play Silas. I, ugh, you know, definitely be a bit careful with that. Um, but I'll show you how to play him anyway. He, he can definitely be used. He is a fun pick. And if you get some AP in, like if you actually have some AP, your clear speed becomes very solid. Like, it'll never be amazing, but it's just very, very solid. So, you know. Not too bad. Obviously, the the upside about Silas is like obviously flex pick. So if you're like, you know, drafting or something in flex queue or clash or whatever, uh, you can potentially flex Silas to the jungle, which would end up being fine. Really, I would pick him against something that isn't extremely aggressive early game, like a you know Kindred or something. It's probably not a good idea. And more so against like Sack, you know, the, the passive stuff where you can like you know scale a bit. That is, those are the ideal situations. Uh, but yeah, those are things I wanted to have said. A smite option here is the green smite because you're pretty much just going all in in a lot of situations and having the extra like shield from that is really, really nice. Uh, for the runes, it's just early game with electrocute and then a bunch of gold efficiency to get your items quicker because you want to build as much AP as possible. So, you know, not having to buy boots, having futures market, having treasure hunter, all those things are going to help you quite a bit by getting more gold and getting out of the weakest stage that you have. So... If you want to play it, play it like this, honestly. And, uh, yeah. You can see clear here, like, it's, it's looking fine. Obviously, like, you kind of need all three of your abilities on Silas to be able to use your passive effectively. So it's a bit slow until you hit three, then it's going to be a bit quicker. Uh, Shaco did, like, a blue box start or something. Oh, that's not good. I'm, that's a lot of clear speed wasted. You need to make sure the explosion lands. What is that? They could just kind of Sudoku himself. Interesting. I'll just finish my clear, it's fine. Tried to go for like an early cheese by like doing two camps and going top, but didn't really work out too well for him, I see. I guess that's good for me. He does have uh, Arcane Comet, so I'm assuming it's like AP Shaco. I guess AP Shaco uses that. I don't really play AP Shaco, so... I don't know. Losing a bit of HP here. Uh, the potion isn't technically necessarily clear, but it is necessary if you want to go for a gank after the clear. Because, as you can see, my HP is not looking that good. So, like, if I have the potion now, which is why I have it, um, I can actually just opt for this top lane gank still, potentially. I max Q first for the clear speed potential. I'll pop the potion, since I'm assuming he's going to teleport here. Can you teleport, please? TP, please. Are you... You were not tele... Oh, my God. What are you doing? Why are you not like um, blah, 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 wasting my time? My chat's off apparently, which kind of sucks. I, at this point, I kind—I think I just have to wait because the gank is very good. I just don't understand why he didn't just take the teleport because he misses the wave now too. I'm actually genuinely confused. I need to wait. This is this is a very very big scam. I don't know what this guy is doing. Very strange behavior. Red buff slow. Hit him with the knock up so Shen gets the taunt. And then finish him off. Alright. At least I got the kill, but... That was a large amount of time investment for a dude that did not want to teleport for some reason. Very interesting. <laughs> it's just... Okay, then. Um, let's get this and Dark Seal. Try to get a Dark Seal pretty much as fast as possible. There's gonna be... That's the Shaco somewhere. You saw the plant move thing on the map. So there's a chance I lost my Gromp here. Because I had to wait so long for Shen to teleport for that top lane gank to work. Uh, obviously, Tronal is in a pretty bad state at the moment due to losing a lot of XP from the Shaco gank. Shaco giving the Shen a kill. But thank you. I ended up getting it. That's good. He did not hop over the walls, so, you know, there's that. I'm going to have to walk down this way because I don't really want to walk through the box and my Shaco is, yeah, is going to go for my bot zone. They just walked away from Shaco too. Like, what is happening here? Okay. That's a kill. 
I think his thing is on cooldown, yeah. I think it's. I, I was about to say, I think his Q is on cooldown. I'm not doing dragon. That's absolutely not happening. Silas's dragon damage is not good enough. Really not. Also, share Twitch's wave on both sides is extremely big. So, yeah. Don't really want to do dragon when he needs to clear that bot wave, you know? That'd be a waste of time. Gonna clear wolves, raptors, and probably just do the void grubs. I have 3 out of 5 KP, which is pretty solid, I would say. Solid clear here. Q finishes this. Like, you can see, like, as soon as you have some AP, you know, your clear speed becomes pretty good. Like, it's definitely not too bad. Uh, this is warded, I believe. Okay, that's the dot in there, so maybe it was warded. I'm gonna do this into the void grubs, I think. Auto attack the group them together. Top lane is all the priority in the world. And try to hit your explosion on everything here. And just, like, AoE everything down as much as possible. As you can see. There is no way Trundle gets priority on this. I'm finishing the Void Grubs. Good luck with that. On that HP, I couldn't even walk towards the Trundle even if I wanted to. Because if he auto-attack Qs me or even ults me, I'm just dead. I already was tanking those things for quite a while. I mean, I guess I do have Shen ultimates, so that could have potentially been something. Okay. Lux got a kill. Fair enough. Clear this out, hit level 6, it's gonna be quite good, and then, yeah, we'll just go for my bolt side camps once again. Maybe a bolt gank, top lane is not really gonna be gankable, Shen has, like, too much priority, I suppose. Uh, to the point where, like, you can't really dive a trundle, that's kind of a crime. Okay. Keep going towards this. Uh, I'll buy that thing, sure. Need to get that Lich Bane in there. Best first item to go for is just Lich Bane. It gives you a lot of like, just damage in general. Movement speed is nice. Clear speed from it is really helpful with the extra Lich Bane procs. So, yeah. If you can go like Lich Bane Magi's, that would be the best thing you can do. You can all, like, like Lich Bane Magi's death cap type situation is like the best snowball way of doing things. Uh, but you can also go like Lich Bane Shadow Flame death cap if you don't really want to go Magi's or anything like that. I think Magi's is like fairly doable. For Silas, it's not too bad. But it's obviously up to you on that one. Making sure here that I can just keep my clear speed. I don't really have a gank anywhere right now. All of them are like very far pushed in to the point where I can't really go for them. Shaco mid. Yeah, that's the first smite upgrade. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep clearing. I, I just don't have anything. I can just clear this, clear it like Top Scuttle, and move on from there, I think. Because at the moment, I just, yeah, I, I don't have great gank opportunities. Maybe mid lane here is possible. Bot lane is not really possible, they're just way too far under that turret. Could look for this mid lane situation, this could be decent. Got the ult. I was waiting for Lux ult after the flash, and if I don't just throw her ult straight on top of her center, that's gonna be pretty much undodgeable, I believe, so that's what I did there. Take that. This is not gonna be diveable, but I can check the blue. It's down. Check the Gromp, it's down. Okay, fine. We'll go for, red, for my red buff then. Again, don't want to be diving a trundle. That mid lane gank was just doable. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing else going on here. After red, I could go top, because now there's kind of a pressure situation going on that is favorable for a gank opportunity. Seems like my bot lane is doing generally better. I think Trundle is backing off here. I refuse to wait. If this Chen does not teleport right now, I'm never ganking that lane again. Yeah, he's not teleporting. That's crazy. I'm not going top. Oh, he teleported. Okay, we're going top. With it. Look at that. Would you look at that? Let's see if this is doable then. Oh, this is warded. Okay, fine. Not doable then. I'm just gonna recall. It's fine. 
35 seconds on Void Grubs. I'm just gonna buy my items, because I can buy Lich Bane and Sorks. So I'll go buy both of those. And then I will go for the Void Grubs out of base, I think. Get those. This is a very solid back. Now from here, I, you can just simply go uh, the Shadow Flame if you want to for like damage purposes. Or just go Death Cap, Mag like Magi's Death Cap. I think I probably will go Magi's Death Cap. Because I'm very comfortable playing with Magi's. And my deaths generally are pretty low, you know. It's just going to be a mandatory thing for the Magi situation. I can go mid lane here. Just send it. I mean, good juking potential from this guy. Like, standing behind the wave, so I can't really E. But, yeah, it obviously uh, opens him up to taking some free damage there. Goal here is just going to be going for this. Group them together. Try to land the explosion on everything as well. I'll smite that one actually, it's fine. Yeah, as you can see, like for the most part now, the clear speed's pretty good, everything is manageable. Uh, as soon as you get like that Lich Bane done, you're looking pretty solid for the most part. Yeah, he's going AP Shaco, I figured. I do have to respect Trundle, because he will kill me in a 1v1, I think. Could just go mid lane again, like, to be fair. Let's go this way. It is just warded, though. Get the Lux ultimate, at least. Mm, might be able to snipe a Trundle or dive a Trundle with Lux ult. I think I'll try that. That would mean that he has, has that he has to shove the wave, which... You know, not sure if he's going to do that, but I guess we'll find out. Good taunt, yes, thank you. Nice, very nice. I'm just gonna use the Lux to snipe the wave at that point, honestly. I don't want any of his melee CS, but like, I might as well use the Lux ultimate, because it's gonna not last that long regardless. It's gonna get this turret down now if possible. We have those Void Grubs, so they this turret should die relatively quickly. And then after this, I'll recall and I'll go for the bot lane play. The extra gold from the turret is nice. I'll go for the Magi's, as I said, and then I'll just go Magi's Deathcap. If you're not, if you're not gonna go Magi's, just go Soul Stealer or um, go uh, Shadow Flame Deathcap, and then you can go finish the build with like Void Stab and Zonias, something like that. I will still finish the build in the same type of way. I'm gonna go Magi's Deathcap and then like Zonias Void Staff most likely. Uh, but yeah, you're basically just replacing the Magi's for a Shadow Flame essentially. If you're not gonna go Magi's. But like feel as a jungler, generally speaking, you can play relatively safe. So you can hold on to your Magi's charges relatively effectively. I'm gonna smite this. Go to clear this as quickly as possible. It looks like Kaisa just gets a double kill though. Yeah. I have another smite for Dragon. Do I have to respect Lock's ultimate? Maybe. Oh, this is warded. Okay. To 18. Um, don't have a uh, 1200 smite yet. Lux ultimate's gonna do a lot. Oh my god, my Twitch kept hitting it, so I, I don't. I, I wanted to wait for Lux's uh, E to time out, so she can't burst it for as much. Uh, but Twitch just kept hitting it, so he made it interesting anyway. Interesting. Farm is looking okay, you know, a little bit low, but generally not bad. I'm XQW. Q is for the clear speed. W is just for like the fight potential. Because with W you have a large amount of fight potential. The, the sustainability from it is good in fights. Let's see if this is going to be a possible gank from the backside. We're going to wait for the wave to put in position here first. Then we dash over. There we go. Perfect. I wanted to wait for the wave to position slightly better first. So she walks up further. And the shit, like, there is no way that I dash over and then I can't hit him if he walks backwards because of the wave. So this should be good. Ooh, team's dying. Team is dying. I see a Trundle here, potentially. I wonder which one the real Shaco is, actually. I think that one. Nope. I was wrong. I see. Oh, I did kill him. Nice. Actually, didn't think that would kill, but apparently there was enough burst damage to kill. That's good. Look at the blue. 
Might upgrade, nice. Alright, good. 16 the Jai stacks, that's solid. Let's go for the Rift Herald here, I suppose. take the rift herald here we have three minutes on that dragon it's not really going to be a play i'm necessarily going to go for i think okay eh. my bot lane generally has a pretty good advantage i would say this is going to be uh, i think this game is pretty much one clear my top side camps right now and i'll be able i'll be looking for a back here for the double large world basically That's the item I... Uh, that's like Death Cap is obviously the item I want to get. Double Arch World on this back would be nice. Okay. Now let's go get it. Double Arch World. Yep, nice. Next back will be a Death Cap. And then after that, it's just Death Cap zoning as Void Staff type angle. If I don't need the Void Staff, then... I mean, I could get like something like Cosmic Drive, perhaps. Uh, could be a shout. I think I say Void Staff, but I'm probably going to go Crypt Bloom, to be honest. I think Crypt Bloom might just be better. Okay, we're going to go kind of all-in style, so the healing from that could be extremely beneficial, actually. I mean, it falls under the same category. Magic Penetration item, but, you know. Let's see if this Misfortune is a target I can go for. There's a Dolt here, so the Ward's gone. Should be a doable loop around. Okay, yeah, Team's just kind of winning now, it's fine. Why would you flip him in that direction, though? Uh, Miss Fortune's way too fast, man. She's just gonna suicide into the turret, so I don't get the assist. Fair play. Sure. He he flipped him over himself instead of just flipping him back towards me. He could have like played that slightly differently. I mean, fair enough for the Miss Fortune to do what she just did. Like, I respect the fact that she just wants to give the kill to just Pike and not me. Solid choice, really. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm a bit high on damage. That guy's a bit behind. Fair enough. I didn't hit the shaker with that one, eh? Alright then. Screw it. Okay, this is not a good idea. Oh, I have Shen, actually. This is a good idea. No worries. <laughs> I was like, is Lux going to be like right here? Nah, Lux respected it. But I have Shen ultimate, so I'm actually chilling. I should use Rift Herald, actually. Uh, uh, that's... Ah, uh, whoa. Okay, that was a lot of damage. I disrespected that a little bit too hard now, didn't I? Fair play. No worries. A bit of an int, I will admit. I highly respect, uh, disrespected the amount of damage they would be able to do against me. Also took a turret hit or two. Eh, fair enough. Okay. Ouchies. Not great, but I guess it doesn't ma particularly matter, I think. I'm right, just going to go out of base, clear my bolt side, look for dragon. Should be good. And just like go out of base, hope this wall, clear my bot side three cams, go Drake. And from there, we want to play towards Shaco's jungle to try to deny the Shaco as much as possible. AP Shaco. I don't see those very often, to be honest. I think AD Shaco is just better in general now. For jungle, at least. Obviously, like support, they don't really play AD Shaco. They mostly play AP for like control and stuff, but. Yeah. Fair enough, mate. Bot lane just had kind of a winning situation for the most part. This game. Let's clear this. I'll go get Dragon. I think game's pretty much over, but, you know. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. 
I'm doing really, really solid damage now at this point. I'd have to look for Shaco's camps. Uh, I think going for stopside camps makes the most sense here. Could go Baron to be fair, yeah. I at least want to check the blue buff. If it's up or not. It is up, yeah, okay, good. Look, with AP you have so much clear speed, but without the AP it's just a little bit rough. Just a little bit. It's not necessarily terrible anymore. It used to be absolutely horrific, but now it's like actually playable, you know? Maybe a bit slow, but yet still playable. It would be nice if like Twitch and Kai'Sa could actually like help do some damage to Baron. Cause I mean, I have some damage on it, but like compared to them, like nah, I don't have any damage on this thing. Especially Kai'Sa. Those guys have procs hurt the Baron a lot. Nice Baron, good. I'm gonna go send this Trundle kill. I mean, at this point, we pretty much should be able to just kind of end anyway. Flash, that's fair. First him out, perfect. Clean it up. We're gonna try to push here, I think. I believe that's the real one, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's one. Need to wait, wait for them to shove the wave or something. Whoa. Trundle ill that guy. That's a lot of burst damage. Okay. Good damage. Good damage. Gonna quarter kill here. Let's go. Can I get the penta kill? Uh, doubtful. Ah, oh, they FF'd it. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, as I said, Zonia's here, then Void Stout, Crip Loom, probably. Uh, 2400 damage on this, and uh, yeah, that's it for Silas. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Actually, it was a pretty short one, so I'll do a second one. I'll see you guys in two seconds. Alright, it's time for the second game of this video. Uh, I will be playing as against a Skarner in this one, which, you know, not a problem. I mean, I say not a problem. I honestly am not sure. This is obviously new Skarner, so I need to be careful i guess um i've not really played against it i've tried some like tried some stuff on it myself i'm still like learning it so by the way in case you're wondering where's the skarner video i gotta learn the champion first um you know gotta practice some stuff figure out some builds see what i want to do type of stuff so that's what i'm doing here i think shake was just dead he has no flash there's no way he survives that interesting I would like some assistance, but if I'm not going to get the assistance, then I'm going to have to change some change some stuff here. I have no 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 leash. I obviously starting red will then be incredibly slow, so I'm just going to start raptors instead. It should be much more doable. Ideally, I'd want to go for a full clear, but I think I'm going to try something. A I'm going to do something a little different here. Then I also saw the Skarner trying to play relatively aggressive. Not too unhappy about, or like, not too happy about not getting a leash, because that definitely sucks for Silas. He definitely needs one, to be honest. Pretty uh, slow otherwise. But hey, it's fine, I guess. Uh, for me right now, I'm just going to go and opt for the easiest camps to clear, I guess, which is Raptors, Wolves, Gromp for level 3. And then after that, we can do, like, blue. I might be able to go for, like, a Void Grub path on this one or something. I don't know if Silas will have the clear speed to make that, but I might be able to skip his cuddle to make it or something. Um, but yeah, obviously no leash. I'm gonna have to adapt slightly based on that, which is fine, I guess. Not a problem. Because if I do look red without a leash, it's really not gonna be too good. I'd rather, much, much rather do Raptors at that point. Because, uh, yeah, Silas struggles a lot, level 1 especially. Level 3 is when his clear becomes much better. Because the more skills you have to proc your passive with, the faster you clear. If that makes sense. So... You know, up until that point, you're kind of, it's kind of rough. But if you do the small camps like I just did, you're kind of fine. It's not that bad. Obviously, you're going to be taking a bit of damage. Clear speed's not the fastest by any means, but it's not, it's not unplayable, you know. I'm going to take the plant here to save myself a tiny bit of distance here. And then we just move to red. We do red crux. We reset. We go for the raptors after the reset and we just clear up towards void grubs. We'll see how slow I am. I've never done this path before on Silas, to be fair, so I'm not sure if he like how fast he's gonna be at it. Uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out together. You know, no worries. Garner top level three. So he just cleared his entire top side pretty much. Okay. Freedom. 
Oh, should have dashed over the wall, but I didn't. Okay, I mean, not bad, I guess. There's nothing he can take from me necessarily, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, four minutes is my Raptors respawn, and I'm not making that, obviously. Okay, I'm definitely a bit... Like, Silas is definitely too slow to make this path work effectively. Uh, that's evident, but that's fine, I suppose. Let's go with this, get the Dark Seal, and then we move out of base again. Go for the Raptors, Wolves, Grump respawn. I think I'll be able to hit Void Grubs at maybe, like, 5.30... <laughs> Depending on if Skarna rushes it, I don't know if I can actually still get those, but he surely has to go for, like, his bolt side camps here. He did that top lane gank, then went for Scuttle. There's no way he's waiting, like, 50 seconds to a minute for Void Grubs. And his bolt side camps are all up, so realistically, it should not be a problem that I'm a bit slower. I should be able to do them anyway. I could technically skip past, like, my Gromp to make sure I'm there on time, but I don't really want to be doing that. I do want to hit level 5 if possible, or at least close enough that I hit it off with one Void Grub. But yeah, ideally, just get a leash from your bot lane. You know, good leash can help Silas a lot due to being just very slow initially. Uh, but like the more skills you have, the more passive hits you have, the more damage you have. So, yeah. I mean, like, honestly, 455, you know, if I would smite this, I could finish at like 505. It's not terrible. Obviously, I'm not exactly there when the Void Grub spawn, but it's like close enough to the point where it's like probably fine. I think it's a good adaptation if you get no leash to do a clear like this. I think it makes some type of sense. I still hit level 5. Still got my recall in. It's definitely not too bad, you know? You have some top priority. This is this ping here. Try to stack them together again. Plant the explosion on as many things as possible and the passive on as many things as possible. I'll smite one. Uh, actually, I'm not going to have an next second smite. So technically, if he shows up now, he could probably yoink one of them. Should have most likely held it. Uh, my eyes deceived me a little bit. I thought my cooldown was a bit shorter on that smite. It's all good, though. I should be able to finish it. Looks like no problem. Maybe want to dive top lane here as well. Mid lane looks very doable, actually. I should go mid. Move over. This guy has literally zero mana, so... Pop the potion, just in case. I was born a mage. The Marcia made me a criminal. Don't have enough damage. I, like, if I step forward or he's gonna stun me, I could try looping around still and see if he greets or like recalls in a greedy spot. Which is something I will be doing. So we're gonna dash here, do this. Okay. He did not recall at all. That's very interesting. Is he gonna stick around then? Surely he back somewhere, right? There he is. He didn't walk into it. Okay, I misplaced my Q. Is that guy gonna get me? He is not. He's he's still at heal. That heal caught me off guard. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I right, put that down for the slow. Jaco is just hard ignoring me. I see. Fair enough. Interesting stuff. All right, that Zareth had some interesting movement, but sure. Could most likely go for this actually. I do have W for Silas to heal with. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, what is that guy? Like he that dude's literally just a sniper. He hit every single one of them. Did he do that blind? There's was this warded? Like really? Was that warded? I am mind blown. Like actually, like I mean respectable that he hit all of them, but that looks a little suspect. I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel I feel a little bit like. I don't know, man. Like, that that one specifically is one of those where I'm like, are you scripting? Because those were some on-the-dot ultimates. Very, very clean ultimates. I'm not going to say it off the first one just yet, because obviously, like, you can just be good. You can just be lucky. Like, any of those would work. So, you know, respectable, respectable, but damn. Damn, damn, damn. Um, Do I, like... I kind of want to walk this way. Hit that up. He is over here. Get this real quick. I should be able to fight him pretty easily in this spot, I think, because he doesn't have a reset over me. Yep, there he goes. Level 5. Yeah, it should be. It should have been doable. It was doable. Let's get this camp cleared as well. I feel like, you know, Silas is very good at fighting stuff. We go for this. Absolutely. I take his ult. We dive. Disable the turret. 
full of kill. I'm gonna flash because I don't want to take an extra turret hit. The slow there would have killed me with the extra turret hit, I believe. There's the Skarner. We're not gonna disrespect him. We're just gonna go for the scuttle here. I will not be going for this fight. Good luck, buddy. You might win it, you might not, but for me that's a bit too much. Uh, it's too much because like I'm wasting a lot of time up there going for something that's not really gonna work when my entire jungle is up. Realistically, that should never be a kill. He is just overextending. That's not really my problem. Because I have an entire jungle to clear and that is worth so much to me right now that I don't really want to skip on it. Also, the Void Grubs are a thing somewhat soon that I could look for. Uh, so I'm just gonna clear like my topside camps into Void Grubs most likely. What is going on? Like, I guess I have no choice now, do I? I don't know what the hell this is. Like, I don't know why the enemy team chases it like this. I don't know what's going on, but sure. Let's go for this guy then. Uh, but that kind of just, like, ended up being free, but I feel like it should never have been to this point. Oh, God. Smite. I need to wait for my skill cooldowns. Perfect. Just wait for the skill cooldowns there, and then, you know, combo him with everything. Land the Q, land the EW for the W heal as well. And he's just, like, kind of CC'd. I smited there, it's just, like, you know, any type of thing I can do to, you know, do a bit of damage. Uh, slows against champions for, like, 20% as well. Oh, this is looking a bit scary. Can I even finish this? I... Nope, I cannot. And Skarner is here, that's kind of what I figured as well. Zareth is here too. I'm gonna have to give the Void Grubs, unfortunately. Uh, okay, assuming he's scripting, I'm not saying he is, but assuming he is, I'm gonna recall in the most impossible spot for him to land anything on me. Because if he knows I'm like right here recalling, he could land anything on me and just not be great. But, you know, I'm not assuming, like, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm just being cautious, you know? Because I believe the script has some kind of wall hack too, that I have to respect. I'm assuming here that the Void Grubs are going to be gone soon. Uh, my mid lane is losing quite badly to the Zareth. Even though Zareth really has no lost hits. I don't know what's going on in this game. Like, I don't know what's going on with that Zareth. Let's just put it like, put it like that. Like, his skill shots are really good, but his CS is 27, my guy. Like, that's... That's interesting, you know? I feel like... Yeah, that's the Void Grubs, obviously. I feel like he's scripting. There's no way. Like, you, how can you not farm and then get those, like, ults to land so perfectly on me earlier, you know? It's a bit suspect. I'll just keep clearing though. Got my lich band finished now, so my clear should be pretty quick. Yeah, it's, it's looking very nice now. Not bad at all. Alright, that Shaco is definitely dead. There is no way. Okay. Assist for Jinx still, even. Alright, alright. I'm gonna finish my camps here. Just make sure that I keep a jungle tempo that is, like, you know, relatively good. Don't want to lose too much on XP. Obviously, Skarner is a bit behind. Zareth is worth a shutdown, even. Wow. He's five kills, to be fair. I will go bot lane here, yes. Oh. Gonna clear the ward casually. It's fine. I'm assuming I'm gonna get, like, respected here by Jinx, which it seems like that's gonna be the case. See if I can quickly get this thing... Kind of want to go kill Skarner, but I also can't because of lane priority difference right now for bot lane. They would just rotate on me, it'd just not be good. Oh, okay, that's an awkward... I aimed it wrong. <laughs> I still killed him, which is fine. Like, my damage is actually pretty damn high, so I sh Like, with Lich Bane, you have a lot of, like, damage potential. I just missed the Skarner ultimate. Fair play. Nice dragon. Might be able to go bolt, but as a ward here. We'll see. I can walk with my ADC. Whoa. Okay, let's just clear the ward. Okay, I'm not gonna have to run then. We'll just use the plan to get out. It's fine. Okay, interesting. That's not too bad. Solid kill. Morgana is less scary than Jinx. Jinx has, like, this item finished, which is pretty scary, so I don't really want to play towards the Jinx. I'd rather play away from her. Which is what I ended up doing. 
I'll take my reset here. This looks like my team just wins that. That's perfect. I right, get this again. Get the Sorks. We are looking very, very strong at the moment. Not too bad. Solid lead on Skarner. Um, yeah, he's struggling a bit. After like after I killed him on red buff, it's going to be pretty hard for him at that point. Especially here as well, to be fair. I killed him twice. I missed the explosion. That's not good. That explosion needs to hit, so that's a bit, a bit of a shitty one on my part. I should just go mid lane, right? Let's see. I mean, yeah, I mean, fair enough. I kind of want to just send the stop lane situation a bit with the... Okay, nice. Use Zareth ult to get that. Can Skarner win that? I don't think he will because he's just too far behind. It's level 7 into level 11. Like, he's not going to do anything there. Okay. Magi stacks it is. I have 10 out of 13 KP. Like, I'm pretty much just, like, you know, carrying this one. It's all good. Uh, Botland seems to be struggling a little bit, though. So, see if I can fix that at some point. That should be up. It is. Perfect. I'll do this into the Rift Herald, I suppose. Got 22 Magi stacks now. So, we're looking very solid in that front. Finish this. Do the Rift Herald. Gonna clear this up. Like my damage now on everything is very, very good. Like obviously I have a lead. I have a lot, a lot of AP. The more AP you get, the more you're just one shot in your camps. No, oh, this is a bit scary. Please let me finish this. Pick this up. Top is dead. I think I just go mid here. I want more Ghana ultimate. I think. Oh god. That's a good kill. Morgana ult is definitely the best shout there because of the AoE component of it. Oh god. Okay, okay. Let's use the Rift Herald. Just got the turret out of the way. So she has nothing to defend herself with. And then we can use the next bounce on this Rift Herald once again. To the next turret. Good. Very solid push. Nice. Okay. Fair enough. A little bit greedy trying to defend there. We take those. I'll take my reset. I get this. Double large roll on the back. I'll do Raptors out of base, which gives me my smite upgrade. My team seems to be winning that. Okay, fair enough. Didn't really want to go for that fight with the amount of gold I had. It seemed kind of unnecessary. I mean, this game is kind of over, let's be serious. Like, I already have done enough for my team. I feel like it's no problem at this point anymore. I feel like my guy on the enemy jungler is not... Uh, on the enemy jungle is not too comfortable with Skarner, you know? Which is fair because, well, he's not out for that long. It's like it's been a day or something. For it on, like, li live servers, at least. So, yeah. Unless he's had, like, a lot of practice on the PBE. Don't think he's gonna perform too great. On a new champion, because it's essentially a new champion. Look at that clear. Like, the clear is actually, like, so good now with a lot of AP. Like, you're chilling. I'm almost at death cap. I want to play for this dragon respawn in 30 seconds. I'm just going to play this out as cleanly as I can, obviously. Uh, no, uh, no fancy stuff. Just going to play for nicely for the objectives. I'm going to get my big item here after this. Uh, after this camp, take the reset, play for the dragon, and then we'll look for the Skarner's camps after that. Try to counter jungle him, play in towards the Baron, and cleanly end the game pretty quickly. That is the plan, at the very least, so we're just gonna do that. Got our death cap finished, we have 572 AP, which is a good amount. Uh, last item here, I would just go, like, last two at least, would be Crypt Bloom and Zonias, most likely. Uh, might not need the Crypt Bloom, because they're, they're not really building any magic resist, to be fair, but... You know, Zonias is definitely one of those I will take regardless. And I have to that point, I could just do Cosmic Drive or, you know, something like that. Fine. Just as, like, a way to finish this build, so you guys are aware. I feel like this game isn't gonna last that long, you know? I obviously kind of want to look for his camps. There he is. Still can't hit that. God damn it. Oh. 
that actually killed. That's okay. I wasted my flash, I guess. Uh, I guess he's too weak. Like, honestly, like, after I killed him on red buff and killed him here again, like, it's pretty brutal for him at that point. To be fair, like, you know, I'm not going to do too much. Alright. I mean, that's just game, I think, I would imagine. Gonna shove this out. Some good turret damage in there. Hello. Use that to get one of those hits in. First them out, it's perfect. Not worth much. I will say, like, this guy is pretty damn good at placing his ult down. Oh god. Oh god, he flashed on me. <laughs> yep, give me my W back. No, damn it. Alright, fair play. That flash on me was a bit scary. Like, I couldn't survive it. If I got my W back for one more rotation, I think I would have been fine. But, yeah. That's why you kind of need the zone, yeah, say. I mean, to be fair, I could go, like, Cosmic Drive and get my ability haste off of it. But just going for Zonias is going to be the best bet. Oh, well. I mean, the game should be ending soon-ish. Soon-ish. The play is out cleanly at this point. Like, obviously, things like this are pretty aggressive. I just want to go, like, Baron here. And from Baron, we can use Baron to push. And then with that push, it should be just GG. We can, like, easily do Baron. I mean, I could most likely just win a fight, but if you're really looking to, like, be consistent, because let's say I go for a fight now, and some way they win it, they lose, I lose the fight, I get, like, hard target focus, my team trolls, like, it's all possible. Uh, if I then leave the Baron up and they would take it from me, that would not be good, because then they can return the Baron, and, you know, that's a, that's a comeback scenario if I've ever seen one, but if you do, like, the objective first, like, Dragon, or if the dragon is, uh, like, Baron, or if the dragon is spawning soon, do those first and then go for the play. If you end up losing the fight at that stage, it's not as bad. Because then you have something to fall back on, and it's kind of fine, right? Uh, Rallyan Soul has a lot of Baron damage, so I will just send it. I think it should be fine. As long as he keeps that Q beam up, the Baron should disappear pretty quickly. He wants 18 seconds for the respawn to get it. I don't know if I can give him that. I will not be able to give him that. That's fair. Fine. Could have waited. Like, if I wait a full 9 seconds, I risk, like, Xerath ult stealing it or something. So, you just kind of have to accept it. He is the one that kind of died, and I still want to get the opportunity there to take it. I will be taking Skarner's camps now, whatever is up. Oh, his ult's not up yet. Oh, I thought I could cheese him with that. I mean, my W is back now anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Unless I miss. Please, 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 please. Oh, my. I knew I should have zoniast. I should have zoniast. I should have zoniast. I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. Okay, lovely stuff. Dude, I... I, I don't know. In that instance, I just forgot that Seekers has the zoniast into in it now. Ah... Uh, you know, I did, like I looked at my inventory for a split second. I was like, I have no stopwatch. There's no longer a stopwatch in the game. I have no zonias, I have no stopwatch, so I couldn't use it. But obviously, Seekers has it built into it now, so I'm just an idiot. Pretty much confirmed, but my team wins anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, last item here, Crypt Bloom for the Magic Pen. If I don't need it, i probably just go Cosmic Drive, Crypt Bloom, because at that point, I probably need the Crypt Bloom. If my Magi's would end up losing all of its value, I can replace it with like a Banshee's or a Cosmic Drive or just anything, really. Shadow Flame, you know, anything that would be fine. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Silas. I hope you guys have enjoyed both games. If you did, make sure to the like button below, and I'll see you guys in the end game. All right, so for the end game stats here, for game number one, I ended up doing 23.3k damage, which is just a very good amount. Not too bad. Crew damage 400, objective damage at 50k, very good. Healing done, 16k. Damage taken. 25 self mitigated another 20k so i took the most did the most gold earned 13k as well uh, for the runes electric that 1150 damage sudden impact for another 1100 damage our uh, collection for the extra ap and then treasure hunter magical food where and futures market are essentially just for the gold tempo obviously in this game i have zero futures market purchases but they can come in very very helpful in certain situations uh, to be able to spike up and get certain ap buys uh, then for the second game here, I ended up doing 23.6 compared to his 28. 
I did kind of troll myself at the end there against the volley fight, I guess. But uh, very solid damage from Yone, not too bad. Uh, dem uh, well, not true damage to champions. Objective damage is 46k. Okay. Healing done, 14. Damage taken, 27. Uh, Self-mitigated, another 20k as well. Gold earned, 12.8, which is the most. And then for the runes, Electrocute in this game dealt 1,000 damage, Sudden Impact for 1,000 damage, and then, I mean, the same thing as before. Here we do have one Futures Market purchase, but uh, this just helps you with Gold Tempo. These three are just Gold Tempo, and Eyeball Collection is just purely AP. Uh, build here, I mean, I've explained it in the videos many times, but I would have probably just ended up going Crypt Bloom. If I didn't need that for the Magic Pen, I could just go for, like, Cosmic Drive or something for the ability, hey, so I can get my W back faster. Uh, Banshees is an option, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but that, with that being said, though, uh, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.